More school districts in our area are putting iPads into students' hands. So what's the purpose of having these devices in the classroom? News Channel 15's Megan Royce uncovered that today. Well, Mark and Heather, some people might question whether or not these devices are needed, but school officials are confident they are. Just as some students learn best from hands-on activities or reading a book, this is just another option in educating students. And, uh, yesterday we started talking about modern day Mexico. It was a lecture. Some of the kids were kind of squirrely, uh, but we're able today to get the iPads out and we're creating a presentation on modern day Mexico, which really interlaces the lesson from yesterday and the presentation standards that we're focusing on language arts today. My other classes, what I've been doing is a persuasion propaganda piece, and basically they were able to take a commercial, put it on their iPads, and give me all the criteria that they needed to make that a successful product. Very excited about it, and they did very, very well on it. So altogether, the iPads have been really helpful. We've used notes, we've used edu creations um, for just our projects, but um, we use Edmodo and all this different stuff. But um, edu creations, we used it mainly for making the design of our products and our commercials. Uh, recently, I've gone out into the buildings and have taken a look at uh, how are we using them. Um, and I, I'm amazed at, uh, even at a pilot level, kind of what we've been in this year, uh, some of the things that the teachers have come up with on their own and how they're using the iPads. You know, for example, I visited one classroom where they were using the iPads to research their favorite college. This was during the NCAA tournament. And the students were researching the colleges, finding out about them. One of the most interesting things I found this year was most of my students could teach me about how to use the iPad more than I could teach them how to use the iPad. So it showed me that most of our students are very um, advanced in technology already. So the iPad was just that one more piece that really kind of pushed everything along. With my more struggling students, they were able to focus more in class. They were more in tuned to the lessons and, and the content. And if I found that they were able to be more successful with their reading and more successful with their writing because they were more engaged in the lessons that we were presenting to them. In the language arts classroom, uh, the class was reading a story and it talked about coral reef. So the language arts teacher just told everybody to quickly open up their iPads. The students flipped it open. Within 30 seconds less, they were able to look up uh, a link for coral reefs. We have been reading a book about the Middle Ages and have used our iPads as a daily link into the Middle Ages. We just took a virtual castle tour and the, the kids got to uh, search through an entire medieval castle on a on sort of a scavenger hunt and find out all kinds of things about the Middle Ages. They even got to be a medieval doctor and cure three patients and uh, it just brought everything alive for them. The last time we used these the kids had them out for 60 minutes I never heard a sound. <laughs> they were just glued to them. And today I had an assignment on my iPad. I had to send my teacher a note saying the best thing I did over spring break, the worst thing I did over spring break, and one goal I have for the fourth nine weeks on Edmodo. And I've noticed that it has really increased student motivation. Uh, the classroom learning environment has become more positive. Uh, today and yesterday we were working on CNN News, studentnews.com, and this is a website for students and it gives them news all around the world. So transitioning that from my business experience to my son, I feel like it's really important for him to understand the iPad because I think it's just the tip of the iceberg. I think that it's going to keep growing. I think the capabilities of it are amazing. We need that new generation to think about this new technology and how are we going to apply it. And I think it's just going to continue to grow and we're going to be very dependent upon it. And we need that right now for them so that they're ready when they come out to the workforce to just have at it. We have been spending time doing compositions on the iPad and all of the music that you have heard in this video was produced by Memorial Park students on their iPads.